G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon, founder of Digital Scrapbooking HQ.com and today I'm here to answer one of the most common questions I get. How to blend two papers together. The first thing we need to do is drag our two papers into a Photoshop document. You can just start by opening your files and then dragging them in from the photo bin. You can see here I've got two papers from Karen Lewis Designs, one on top of the other. This is going to be my main background and then I'm going to blend this green hexagon layer on top. The first thing I'm going to do is add a mask to this layer by clicking on the Add Layer Mask button in the Layers panel. I am then going to take my gradient tool and draw a gradient on the page. I'm going to start from the left and drag it to the right. You can see that part of my background layer is revealed on the right hand side and if you look at the mask you'll notice that the black is on the right. Whenever you're using a mask white reveals and black conceals. Now this is not the effect that I'm really going for. I'd like to have a little bit more of the background showing. So I'm just going to use my gradient tool again and drag it two-thirds of the way over. So now you can see a little bit more is showing. And if we make the even less, you can now see that there's just a short column of the pattern and it quickly fades away. Now if I was to drag in from the right, you'd notice that the hexagon pattern is on my right. Wherever you drag your mouse from, that is where the gradient starts. So if I drag from the top, the white gradient white part of the gradient will be at the top. If I drag from the bottom, the white part's at the bottom. Now of course to add to all this, you can change the sort of gradient that you are working with. For example, we can have a reflected gradient. And as I drag that down from the top, the reflected gradient does not look much different until you start creating a smaller gradient. Now you can see it fades in and then fades out again. You can get some different effects depending on which style of gradient you use, where you place the starting point and ending point of your gradient and also which sort of gradients, modes, opacity etc. The sky's really the limit. You can play around and get the effect you want. Of course if you don't like how anything turns out you can always shift click on the mask to hide it or just delete it completely. And we're back to where we were to start with. So to blend two papers together we click on add layer mask and we use our gradient tool to blend parts of the image together. Would you like to learn more about Photoshop Elements 11? Head over to digitalscrapbookinghq.com for tutorials, workshops and more.